guys. I'm wearing a weird hoodie today. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like weird and stuff. But anyways, hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a review on... I don't have the book in my hands. I'm so unprepared right now. 172 Hours on the Moon. That's the back of the book. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstead. Oh yeah! In this book, it's been 40 years since NASA has sent anybody to the moon. NASA decides to hold a contest where three teenagers have the opportunity to go and live on the moon for 172 hours. When the three teenagers who have won the contest have gone to the moon, they soon begin to realize that they're not just there to experience life on the moon, but they're there to fight for their lives. Ah, so scary. So let's first talk about the writing style. Something that I did not know about this book going into it is that it is actually translated. It was originally in Norwegian, but then it was translated by Tara Chase. I don't think I would have realized that it was a translation until I went to the Goodreads page and went to rate the book after having finished it and reading a little bit of information about the book and finding out that it was a translation. I wouldn't have realized that this book was a translation because of how well done it was. The writing style is really gripping and at times it gave me goosebumps. The writer had this way of really making you feel what the characters were going through and creeping you out at times too. And the author also succeeded at getting me teary-eyed at one point in this book, which doesn't happen often, so I applaud you, Johan Harstead. You made me get teary-eyed. I didn't cry, but the feels were real and the tears were getting ready to fall, but I sucked it up. I want to talk about the format of this book because this book actually had a really interesting format and I think it really added to the overall creepiness of the story. I actually didn't know that there were graphic elements within the story. I didn't know that there was going to be pictures. I didn't know that we would have these really cool graphic design elements throughout the story and it was a very nice surprise going into it. Throughout this book we get to see really creepy pictures of the moon, advertisements for the NASA contest, and just other really chilling and creepy shots. And I was really just pleasantly surprised by all the photographs and graphical elements. Oh yeah. Let's talk about the characters. Now here's the thing. I didn't really feel for any of the characters in this book. Yes, I found them interesting and I found it fascinating why they wanted to escape the Earth for a little bit and go live on the moon, but I never really felt anything for the main characters. Weirdly enough, I felt more so for the side characters and the things that were happening to the side characters. While we definitely have three main characters in this book, we also get several different perspectives. And I think the different perspectives also just added this mysterious feeling to the story and also gave a little bit more of an emotional element to the story as well. Like, some of the things that happen to the side characters are super sad and scary and just depressing at times too. And the thing that made me teary-eyed happened to one of the side characters. I'm not gonna say though, because spoilers. You just gonna have to read it for yourself. Now let's talk about the plot. At the beginning of this book it was kind of slow paced and it just felt like this normal contemporary story but then we get to the moon and holy crap Holy crap, things just instantly start to get creepier once we're landed on the moon. So many heart racing moments where your heart's basically just pounding out of your chest and you're like, what the heck is happening? Why is this all happening? And the ending, the ending, guys, the ending. I was expecting it to happen. I was expecting it to end that way. But even though I was expecting it, my mind, my brain, my what, I was just like, what, what? What? Ah. So those are my thoughts on 172 Hours on the Moon. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about this book. If you have read it, let me know down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. When the teenagers who have won this contest have found themselves on the moon, they realize that they're... Once the... Th what the even heck are you saying? Let's see here. Let's see here. Are you gonna stay? Can you just stay right there? Is that gonna work? Is that like damaging the book? I think that'll work. Look at that display. Yes. So many horse racing. So so those are my so those are my thoughts on a hundred. Oh jeez. I just knocked over a can with my book. Oops.